Nice job, my friend. We're back, everybody. My first guest has appeared in numerous films, including Training Day, Reality Bites, and Dead Poet Society. Currently, you can see him in Shakespeare's Henry IV at Lincoln Center right here in New York City. Please welcome Ethan Hawke. Is that here? Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year to you. Yeah, it's very exciting for you, the first guest of the New Year. What an honor. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you I just feel honored. I you feel just honored. seem thrilled about the whole thing. Well, no. I... Now, uh, before we go any further, and we haven't even really begun, so why would I say that? Yeah, I don't know. Um, go on. I mentioned Lord of the Rings earlier, and then yeah. I remembered, as I was mentioning Lord of the Rings, that you I'm are a, a fan. fanatical fan for these uh, Lord of the Rings yeah. movies. Yeah, I, I read the book about 18,000 times from the ages of about 9 to 33. Right, um, so you've just, you you know everything. Because I have to say, I never read well, the book. Well, now, books. there's some serious fanatics. I can't be bragging about that I know everything, because I have met people that know more than I do, but I do love them. There are guys that carry, like, a bag of secret powder and yeah, have a I, wand. I'm one of those and, guys. You know, yeah, I have some, I've heard you know, of that powder. Yeah. Now, uh, <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm curious. Magic powder, well, yeah, yeah we're buddy. Dangerous territory. Um, no, but you know, I gotta say that I've been, uh, you know, we've had uh, a bunch of the stars from these movies on. You had? Yes, uh, Elijah nice? Wood was. Uh, yeah. You had Frodo here. Yes, we had Frodo. Yes. Was he deep <laughs> and powerful and? Did he move you? He's an actor who plays Frodo. Okay. You're scaring yeah. me now. <laughs> have you seen Frodo? <laughs> have you seen Gandalf? Uh, no, I tell you, those things—they really do uh, mean so much to me and my whole family. Every premiere um, that they've had. You know, when the movies first come out, I take my brothers, um, who live in Indiana, and they fly in, and we go to the premiere. And the, the first one, I freaked out. I started screaming, Gandalf for president, you know, at the opening. And I think you were s right behind me in the theater. Really? <laughs> I think and I the, called security on you, yeah. yeah. The second one, my brother got so excited, he had an asthma attack. Um, and then the last one, we all were just, we, we made it through without incident. So, um... He had an asthma attack, seriously? So yeah, did he have the inhaler? He's okay? That yeah, What's that up? never sounds cool. You yeah, got yeah. so excited but, at the Lord of the Rings movie, you had an asthma attack. And we had to give you a wedgie to bring yeah, you around. Yeah. He did it in such a studly way. In I mean, a studly would, way, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was, oh, he good. handled it with such grace and integrity. Oh, sure, you're amazing. out of the doghouse now. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Now, you know, I have to say, I like these movies even when I don't understand what's happening. And I've explained that to many of the cast members, that I I don't often understand what's happening, but it looks cool, and I'm sucked into the action. But do you actually know what's happening all the time? Yeah, I mean, you, you mean you don't understand the deep fabric of Middle Earth? I mean, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, like, basically, yeah. What's not yeah. to understand? Well, I don't know. Sometimes I... You don't I... speak Elvish? What is it? That... <laughs> well, it gets very abstract. They'll say, we must retire to the magic <laughs> giggle bag and... <laughs> No, well, hold, no find, bag, find the know, secret it's... corn and put it in the pie, and I, I don't know what's happening. I was convinced as a kid, I was really convinced that this was another world that did exist, and I used to pray to God that I could be reborn in that world. Wow, so that's yeah. intense. That's yeah. very intense. I don't know if that says how much I like the books or how much I hated my own life, but <laughs> yeah. one of them. Yeah. You were escaping one way or the yeah. other. Okay, so, uh, and so you've seen the movies, and you knew everything that was happening the whole time. Yeah, and people seen, they're awesome. The yeah, last they... one is absolutely stunning. I've, yeah, um, I have not seen the last one no, yet. But I've... I have to say, as a fan of the books, I was so sure that I would be disappointed. Right. And they're just, they're tremendous. I can't wait to go again. I think that's it. I think they're done. Isn't that it? That's the third well, I one. Know, but done. I can see the movie again. Oh, you're going to see it again and yeah, again? You're going to yeah, be one yeah. of those people. Yeah, why not? Oh, my God. All right. Um... <laughs> you, you've lost all respect for me. No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. And, and I shouldn't, because I, uh, this is as good a time as any to bring this up. You have been named one of New York's hottest bachelors. And man, what a, that's a great honor, right? Yeah, For the I'll New don't York Post. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, it's a dubious honor when you have two children. You know, it's a, it's, it, it was cool to be a hip bachelor when you're 23, but now it has a different ring to it. Well, you're in good company, though. I don't know if you've checked this out, but they list all the different uh, bachelors that they're there. And you're up there at the top. Yeah, There's good. you, Ethan Hawke. And then keep going down. It's pretty cool. You got your Ava Goda right there. <laughs> Keep Let's not slow it down too much. Oats is right there. And then check this out. Grandpa Munster, I thought. This is... I don't know. I, you're right. I love the company I keep, you know? <laughs> what's weird is... It's like any you know, Grandpa Munster reference what, makes me happy. Like, I hook up with Grandpa Munster all the time. We go pick up ladies in bars and stuff that like that. That guy. We've had right? him here on this show. That guy's a wild man. Is he still alive? Yes, he's still alive and... <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, he's gonna he's gonna be mad I mean, at you now. But I mean, I have to admit, he seemed really old when I was very he small. He is old. He's like a hundred years old, but he's still making the rounds. And Grandpa is he funny? Mister, yeah, he's a funny guy. And he's very, good with the ladies. He's I mean, very good with the ladies. He's, he's, yes, yes. Yes. I wonder what his rap is. We can all is, learn you know? from. It's I, hey, check me out. I'm Grandpa Munster. That's his rap. <laughs> yeah. That's all the rap anybody needs. Yeah. You, know, you just you go to a bar with him and just ride his. Yeah, wake, exactly. You know? Exactly. Now. Uh, you occasionally still make the, and this is something you're proud of, you still make the worst dressed list and you like that. Explain the well, thinking. All right. of it. Well, I'll explain the thinking of it. First of all, the, I'm not impressed with the best dressed list. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I right. think that they, uh, I, you know, if you look at the people, I, I like the, you know, like Grandpa Munster, for example. I like the company I keep. Um, right. But my, mo my mother. Grandpa Munster, by the way, is on the best dressed list every year. Yeah. <laughs> That guy's got All slick right, I gotta learn. I got stuff to learn. I yeah. got stuff to learn. No, well, but you, I, li you like having, uh, I mean, you, you don't want to be part of that pack that's, that, uh, that, that's always wearing the perfect uh, outfit. That's not your not thing. It's not my priority in life. Right. So I don't mind it. My mother, however, minds it. My mother always thinks, you're on the worst dress list, and you think you're cool and, like, you know, hip. And what people really think is they look at that and they think, who raised him? Right, me. right, right. And, you know, right. it looks bad on her. Right. So she begs me to get off it, but I, I particularly don't care. Yeah. You know, it's funny. My mom doesn't care what I do as long as I'm polite. She yeah. doesn't care what, ha what I do in life she doesn't, as long as I'm... But see, you dress nice. But I don't do this. That's just it. I don't pick these clothes out. There's someone backstage who goes out and buys some suits. I don't know how to dress. Well, see, I've, never owned, I've never owned a suit in my life. There's a back pole I go down naked before the show, <laughs> and this thing comes on, and, and there I am. And then this is, well, this is me. I need that. I need that. And that's the only way I'm going to get off those lists. Right, right. But, you know, it's, it is hard when people are like, you know, they say worst dress and they take some picture of you when it was, you know, some Wednesday when you had the flu and you're running to buy groceries. Or something. You know, I don't feel like it's fair. Like today, you know, I feel like I look sharp. And... That looks good. That's yeah. a corduroy. Yeah. I got this cool hip western shirt, but you know you got a corduroy suit. Yeah, the shirt. This looks like a pajama top right here. It is a <laughs> pajama top. But that's good for going down the pole. When yeah, exactly. You climb up the pole, yeah. You're already in your pajamas. Well, I was just about to say you can go down my pole anytime, and then I thought you can't. That's not right. I stopped Wait, myself stop it. just in time, <laughs> so I didn't sound gay. <laughs> I think in a weird way you still sounded a little gay. I still gay. sounded yeah, gay. Yeah, gay. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. fact that the thought was there. <laughs> the fact is, that I was just yeah. about to say like, yeah. and then I thought, don't say that, and then I did say it, and, and now I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Henry IV, uh, and p people say you're doing an amazing job. I want to come see you. Uh, well, do, yeah, yeah, this is supposed to be great. Henry IV is now playing at the Vivian Beaumont Theater. At Lincoln Center. Kevin right. Klein is playing Falstaff. Very and, uh, cool. It's a great show. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm going to come by and see it. Uh, but go... if, you don't, if you don't get The Lord of the Rings, man, Shakespeare's going to, you know. <laughs> I mean... I've seen some Shakespeare in my day. Yeah. You got any quotes for me? I didn't understand it. Yeah, yeah. But... <laughs> No, I, I'm looking forward. I'm going to come check it out because I've heard amazing things. Vivian Beaumont Theater right here in New York City. Ethan Hawke, well, thanks, thanks so much for being here. Happy New Year. Always a pleasure. Yeah. George Wayne, coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. You know what? I just got that 2004 feeling. <laughs> Wait, it's gone. <laughs> All right. That was insanity. <laughs> All right. Uh, great show tonight. Hey, stay tuned next week because we have some amazing guests coming up, including Gwyneth Paltrow, Michael Moore, Lucy Liu, Tim Robbins, much, much more. So watch those shows. Come on. <laughs> Those are good shows. <laughs>